Diedrich, let's go back uh, to uh, Paris, France. Uh, at the age of all right, uh, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> at the age of four, something happened to you at a uh, movie theater that kind of changed your uh, outlook on life. Yes, that's right. Completely changed my outlook on life. Uh, um, I was uh, taken to a lot of uh, of uh, movies when I was a kid. It was one of the ways that my siblings could get in for free because my parents would pay. So I, uh, I figured this out and and uh, and centered them down to uh, Buster Keaton and uh, Charlie Chaplin. Fred Astaire. My real love and inspiration in my life is Charlie Chaplin. And uh, I had worked out a little Charlie Chaplin routine and, and was just a fanatic about him. And uh, uh, when, uh, when I went to a, a movie with uh, a friend of my mother's, uh, they, I, I, I barely remember this, but uh, uh, the film burned. There was an organ player and the audience booed and, uh, and they, you know, they turned up the lights and I, I, uh, I jumped in between the, uh, the audience and the, and the screen, and I did my little Charlie Chaplin act. And uh, uh, the organ player played, and I remember him. And I remember the red carpet running around doing my little thing, and, and uh, you know, the whole. And, um, uh, and then I got a standing ovation. And uh, all I remember is uh, this old man was right in front, uh, bald and had gray hair, and he was going, Bravo! Bravo! <laughs> So, so that was it for me. You know, I've been uh, I've been looking for that old man uh, ever since. <laughs> now, every actor has uh, an interesting sideline job they do. Now, you worked as a security guard for a while. Yes, that's right. Yeah, that's right. The, what was, was that fired. job like? <laughs> well, I'll tell you. Uh, my uh, my first night on the job, uh, I was down. Uh, I was in Century City. Actually, I was on the uh, I was on E and F of the uh, uh, of the parking lot, which is a very important job from nine to five in the morning. Uh, so there's no cars. All I had to do was walk around. And uh, the guy, you know, called me on the on the little thing, and he goes, uh, so, uh, you know, did you better. What's your twenty? I was like, my what? My what? He says, You're, where are you? And so you know, I had, to, I had to come up to this one escalator, and he handed me this, um, he handed me this, um, uh, you know, composite drawing of, and, and he goes, all right, this guy is a, an escaped rapist. Uh, we we may believe he he's armed, and uh, you know, he put me at the bottom of this escalator, and I I looked at it, and I went. So why are you telling me this? <laughs> what am I supposed to do about this? And he goes, well, if he comes down the escalator, then you've got to you know, use your radio. And I was like, I don't get it. You know, he's armed. I'm going to stand here at the bottom of the thing. He's going to shoot me when he comes down here. And he goes, no, it's all right. Your best weapon is your radio. And I was like, best weapon is my radio. What am I going to do, I'm whack him with it? You know, can't you give me a stick or something? And, and uh, you know, no, it didn't, didn't work out. But I, so I was sitting there at the bottom of the escalator waiting for, uh, waiting for this guy to you know, come down. And uh, um, the uh, head of ABC Casting, my agent and my principal agent, comes down the escalator while I was waiting. It was so humiliating. They were like, oh, there's Dietrich Bader. He's one of my clients. I was like, yeah, hi. Hey, how you doing? Good to see you. Now, you appeared on an episode of Cheers. I did. Yeah. Now, what episode was that, and what was it like? Oh, you're going way back. I like it. On such a high-profile show. Yeah. Uh, well, I loved, uh, I loved working on it, you know, because... Uh, 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 I had done uh, some guest star spots before that, and uh, guest star spots are basically the bottom rung of, of those that really want to make a living, you know, in uh, in Hollywood. Uh, and uh, I had never been treated very well. In fact, I'd been treated really poorly. And I showed up on the on the uh, on the first day at you know 10 a.m. and and then uh, then about 12, all the cast members started showing up. And uh, uh, you know, I was sitting around the craft service table because I hadn't eaten in a couple of days, and I was just you know eating their sandwiches. And Ted Danson comes up and he goes, "Hi, Dietrich Bader." I went, yeah, yeah, I am. You know, I was like shocked. He was so nice to me, and everybody on the cast was was great. So it was a real, uh, it was a real pleasure. Now, with the uh, the Clampett mobile in this film, mm -hmm. I, I know people are asking you what's it like driving down the street with that. Sure. But I'm wondering, what are the uh, the nuances to driving uh, a car like that? <laughs> well, it uh, um, the the difficult part was actually uh, for camera getting it off because uh, uh, it shifts into first very. Uh, uh, Clumsily and really clumsily into second, and uh, so the the really difficult part was kind of playing with the uh, playing you know just kind of you know with the pedal just so it would it would jump just a little so you could get started because that's kind of a joke that the car is in such bad shape, but then to get it off so that then the, the cameraman doesn't lose focus, mm -hmm. uh, and then to follow the camera track and keep a keep the same speed was really difficult because it kept on shifting between second and third. Okay. Now there must be some uh, pluses and minuses that you must have considered, probably thought about a lot before accepting this role. Like, what were your fears about uh, 
taking on a role that was so famous? Well, my fear was that, uh, you know, there's, there's so many fans of this show, and it's yeah. such a love show, which is a great, great thing. It is a great show. And Max Baer did such a fantastic job. I was afraid that, uh, that people would uh, really look negatively on, on the part. And, uh, uh, I mean, that's still a fear of mine. So, you know, I hope everybody likes it. And uh, one final question. Um, you play Jethro's uh, twin sister in yes, this. Yes, I do. Yes, I uh, do, Jethro. The first time you had full makeup and full costume on, uh -huh. how did you react to seeing yourself in the mirror, and how did the uh, cast and crew react? Uh, well, you know, the first thing you know, I looked, I looked up and down, and and uh, got the got the full makeup and the wig and the and the, you know, copious bosom, and uh, and I went, wow, well, what a babe. <laughs> she looks good. And uh, well, you know, the crew. Uh, you know, some of the some of the grips were trying to pick me up for a while until they realized that you know I was who I was. So you know, so I think no, everybody loved it. It was a real break, you know, for the show because it's a very monotonous thing to do this. So it was a great break for everybody.